um, throughout the piece this uh, so-called barre technique on the left hand. The barre means means that when you put your index finger on, on the across all the strings and play like this. <coughs> One other thing what he associates this well, I mentioned that aura of the guitar is, is of course blues also. And in blues you you use the Bottleneck or slide, also as it's called. Um, I think when he composed this, he was thinking of, of perhaps this this sort of a class class slide. And as you notice, the same effect will be as, as the barre will be done when you put the string on, put it on like like that on the strings, so you can. This is very hard because it's so uh, light, and to get a better sound, we use a thing called the tone bar. This is for for a, a steel guitar. I think it's called steel guitar, where you play. It's not an actual guitar like this, but it's just a. strings and, and you play only, only with this so you can actually just place it on top you don't need to press it down you will get quite clean sound so this has been a very helpful helpful thing uh, for playing this piece later in the piece this um, it's kind of chart what I've, I've been using here is uh, or has been extremely important playing the piece since the most of the material what he uses are are played in this register. And it normally well this is very familiar for for guitarists you, you you're kind of your <coughs> visual you, you know where, where the notes are and also until until here maybe. But after this it starts to get more problematic. And you see these colors this is um, well, first of all, there's, there's uh, one octave until here, this is the E string, so we have from E to E here. And then the next octave would be from E to E here, so I've marked this with blue color. Next octave would be oh, sorry, here, marked with red color. See also how it gets smaller and smaller, of course. The next one from E. Sorry. From E to E there, so it starts to get really, really, really uh, short, and that is with, with the yellow color. And still, there's one of the what he uses. Little bit from from the from the beginning that I have not marked with any color because there are not so many places there, but still there's there's the one one of the there. <coughs> so what I have done then in the score I have uh, I marked the octaves. Um, Roman numeral always says what from what fret I'm I'm going to play, and the caller says from which octave. So you, you will see how how we start with the blue octave and then go to the red red one already here. Some some uh, yellow. So and I know that this, this when when uh, Lachemann was teaching. This other duo who played played in the 90s, this this piece in, in Finland, he's complained after their performance had been just that it was very good, but it was extremely out of tune, and that is something something uh, or well extremely and extremely it was out of tune. So this was something he he is very very uh, or, or what he finds extremely important in this piece, 
and I know that they play without this, this chart, and I I would never know how to how to do this it's, because even now this is very kind of at, at times quite approximate thing like things are moving pretty fast and that there's extremely a lot of information and uh, I still have to find a little bit the the, the place where uh, one should play play from but this. These colors and this chart has been extremely, extremely helpful, helpful with this piece. The chart was, was this sort of very articulated uh, sound in the beginning. What is done by damping the strings with your left hand. And then, oh, oh yeah, and your left hand has to be, like here you can see the, that if it has, has to be, on the fourth, fourth fret on the on the red octave, then then you find it like this and play like that. Same thing with the with the slide. Uh, there are uh, many many places where you have to uh, damp damp the string and then. Um, uh, let it ring again, and we'll put it on the twelfth. You will have a little bit of kind of um, kind of crescendo, what you say. And this is from the if you we're talking about harmonics, the twelfth fret is is the uh, the most. Um, Strongest uh, harmonic on the, on the guitar, and if you if you do the same thing, what Lahima uses very often, and uh, this I, I find extremely fascinating, is when you play from the eleventh fret, the same. Stop it. You can get sound coming coming from from the back. This is the first time I've been doing crescendo on the guitar, and I think it's, it's, it's extremely nice uh, uh, feeling for me. <laughs> and and the same, if we go a bit higher. Is kind of combining the, the really strong attack of the of the pick and the strings touching each other, and then this kind of sliding effect. But it's beautiful. The thing is, it's hard. To very kind of 